Uh, we have to uh, we have to prepare for for a lot, you know, and that's that's the most important thing. Um, you know, nothing, you know, out of the out of the norm. You know, I mean, we played a physical, competitive game and uh, thought we fought and and we lost. And part of that is, you know, in life and sports and athletics, you do that. You have to come back the next week, or you know, you got to pick yourself up. And you know, that's what we plan on doing and preparing. Uh, for everything that they do uh, offensively and you know defensively and then in the kicking game. Can you talk about maybe the thought process of just making this a normal week, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as opposed to pushing back, you know, well, like a lot of teams do for a Monday night game? Uh, what did a lot of teams do? I'm not sure. Well, I'm just saying, you know, you, you know, some teams push, they take the Wednesday off and then practice Thursday, Friday, that, that sort of thing. Oh, um, yeah, no, we just try to go with some walk through and some speed and walk through and then, you know, some speed again tomorrow. So, um, you know, we need all the help that we can get uh, as far as practicing and preparing, you know, just trying not to go, you know, at this point in the season, as far as like four days straight on a, a tempo of practice. You know you want to tackle clean every every game, but how important is it against their guys and what they can do in the field? Well, every X play isn't a just a shot, you know. And I know that they're those are the ones that, that show up, but there's a lot of X plays where it's a catch and run, or a, you know, a throw behind the line of scrimmage, or even a handoff. You know that they're creating X plays a lot of different ways, and so that'll be critical how we you know leverage the football and how we tackle, and, you know, just whether it's a ball thrown in the middle, where you know that that. The way they're running, they may get past the first guy, and we're going to have to have everybody coming from the from the other side to try to to make that tackle and and not assume that they're going to make the play. With all the, the pre-snap motion and things that they have going on, what have you guys done this week to kind of get ready for that? And how much is it important to kind of like you know keep be disciplined with your eyes? Uh, we practiced. You know, that's what we've done, and you know try to show them as many looks and motions as you as you can, and. You know, hopefully before the snap that you have an idea of, you know, if this guy moved or here's how I have to adjust and you know, be, be ready for it and, and, and expect it. How you liked what you've seen from Ty these first couple of practices here? Ty. Yeah, you got to give me these full names of these guys that we just signed. No, I, I, I think he's, um, you know, we had, a, we had a kicker workout and, you know, he did really well and he's done really well throughout the week. You know, operation today you know, was good and uh, working with Morgan and um, and Nick. Um, so that, you know, it's, we have, you know, Tom watched him, you know, and worked him out or went and saw him uh, in, in the draft process. And, and, and so he's pretty familiar with him and what he can do. He's a good athlete. How, many, how important do you think maybe to sustain drives and pull the football play keep away this week? Um, you know, I don't. I think that's going to be the easy thing to say it. You know, we're going to have to go out there and do it you know, against a good defense. So, you know, hopefully we can drive it and possess it, and then if not, we'll have to have to go defend whenever we have to, and you know, try to create some turnovers. But yeah, I mean, they average 32 points a game for a reason. How well do you know Mike McDaniel? What's your relationship like with him? Um, I, I know him just from combine and, and meetings and. But on a you know, personal level, I, I don't. I wouldn't say that I know him. I haven't worked with him, but I I know him enough to, you know, talk with him and been in, you know, settings with him. You know, business NFL settings with him. Will um, seems you know. I mean, it seems like he's, you know, done a fantastic job. We've talked, you know, I mean, off season about different things that come up. Will uh, leads the NFL in completion percentage with pre-snap motion, uh, and he's last without it. I guess, do you, are you aware of those numbers? And you guys are well below average in using motion at the line of scrimmage. So is it something you want to do more? We want to just try to score as many points as we can and, and move the football and you know, try to do things that help us. And, you know, again, I looked into, you know, I'll look into those, those numbers find out, you know, again, if they take out certain situations that, you know, I think Paul had asked about a question before, and 
I went back about first and second down. And, and again, a lot of that was there was some in two minute and it looked. And what I have appreciated about Will when you talk about completion percentage is he has gotten rid of the football and not taken a negative play when we haven't been able to protect him. And you know, there's been some drops in there. There's been some, you know, inaccurate throws and there's been some throwaways. So again, if we motion, if we don't motion, if we throw on first down, if we throw on second down, we have to remain uh, consistent in our in our message and our teaching of finding a way to you know, be firm in the middle of the pocket and, and run these edge rushers by that you know are there every week, just like they'll be this week, and it'll be critical for us to do that. I know you always want coverage married with the pass rush, but how important is that in particular this week when two is getting rid of the ball as quickly? Yeah, it's uh, you have to get there pretty quick. You know, he's, he's got does a great job of, of kind of knowing where he wants to go with football, and then if it's not there, does a does a really nice job of, of getting it to the to the check down and getting it outside, and, you know, being able to to pull the ball back and not he's anticipating uh, those throws being open as opposed to reacting to them, and then if they aren't there, that's you know the, the check down comes quicker, and then. You know, when you when you, when you run 22 and however much miles an hour, you get open a little quicker. You can throw it a little quicker. There's some guys you expect to step up and be more vocal with Chet not being out there. I just I don't expect anything other than to do their job and play as hard as they can and you know compete. Uh, and if they want to be vocal, you know, hopefully they're they're saying the right thing. That's that's the most important thing. Is not trying to replicate anything or anybody. It's what do I need to do to take advantage of my opportunity? <clears throat> Go play as hard as I can. If I have, you know, 15 snaps before and I get 30 snaps, you know, do do something with those extra snaps and and help us. You talked about in camp how much that Thomas Otakoya had made a jump from his first year here to, to the start of this year. How's he progressed uh, as you've gone through the year? Obviously, had good. Played you there. know, Thomas is, you know, the football knowledge and the understanding of. You know what we're asking him to do, and uh, just the the professional game is you know, great attitude helps us prepare, and you know continues to work really hard, and uh, comes in locked in, ready to go, works lifts hard. You know he's in all the meetings, helps us in the show teams, and so you know continue to be excited about working with him. Got anybody out tomorrow? Last day we'll see him. Well, I figured I'd ask. Uh, none at all, really. I don't look at it, you know, anything like that as a challenge. I'm worried about the persons in front of me, uh, and that's a defender, not Tyreek Hill. So, uh, and I really don't worry about what goes on around me uh, the, besides our control. One of that were in front of you, you know, will be is, is uh, Jalen Ramsey. You've had your battles with him. How is that? Is that nice? Oh, it's, it's fun. Love going against Jalen. I uh, love competing. He, he's, uh, he's a competitor. He talks a lot, right? Uh, you know, not to me, uh, but you know, I think you know it's our relationship that we got outside of football. How'd that develop? Uh, playing each other twice a year uh, when he was a rookie. Uh, you know, we used to play against him in Jacksonville twice a year, and I was in Houston, and so uh, just competing against each other all the time, man. I'm sure if you got this right out of the gate, but played in the league a long time. Monday night football still a little bit special for you when you're playing in prime time. Everybody watching. Uh, and I wouldn't say it's you know special, uh, but obviously you know everybody's watching. You want to go out there and perform your best, no matter what the record is. But uh, you know to us and to most players, it's just another game. Yeah, I know you talked in the locker room Sunday just about how maybe some of the veterans had an impact on you when you were going through. You know, the adversity as a, as a rookie. Have you tried to be a positive influence on guys who may be struggling with some of that right now? Uh, absolutely, but you know, I really don't see many guys in here struggling with that. Uh, you know, I feel like everybody on this team is, uh, you know, handling themselves professionally. And, uh, you know, so, certain things we can't control, but I don't see anyone, you know, really holding their head in this locker room. Six weeks in, what's your, what's your take on the improvement that Will's made as starting quarterback? Uh, you know, a lot of improvement. Uh, I think the way he practiced, the way he studies, uh, you can tell uh, the control that he has, the control that, uh, you know, he, he wants to have of uh, this offense has improved. And just his confidence uh, every day, I think, is, uh, you know, increasing. 
What have you learned about kind of like running your own race and not trying to replicate another team and, and match a team like the Dolphins? Uh, you know, I think, well, you know, for me, I've been in the league for a long time. Uh, so, you know, I control what I can control. But, you know, when you're going up against a team like the Dolphins and you know what they have, you know their record, uh, obviously ours isn't what it is. Uh, you know, it's. I, w- I would say it's easy, uh, but, you know, it's not. Obviously, you know, you look at a team like that and you know what they have in front of them. And, uh, you know, you want to go out and, and show what you have as well because I think a game like this, even though our record is what it is and their record is what it is, you know, it gives us momentum going forward uh, and obviously on to next year. I guess just what's, uh, what's, I guess, the whirlwind been like for you, I guess, getting here and trying to get up to speed with, with everything going yeah, on? Yeah, it's been a quick turnaround, just uh, trying to meet all the guys and, just focus on what I need to focus on. Be ready to go Monday night. What have you been doing to try to stay ready? Yeah, I've been working out at Kansas State, it's where me and my fiance live. So just using the facilities up there and and just staying ready, lifting, um, doing a little bit of kicking, mostly punting. How's the week going with Morgan and, and Nick getting on the same page with those guys? Uh, we'll be doing snapping and holding every day this week, pretty much. Uh, we punted a little bit yesterday, so. Just getting a good rhythm, know what they like to do. What's the excitement level like going from not being on a roster and now on a team and playing on Monday Night Football? Yeah, it's exciting for sure. Um, you just kind of mentally prepare for it and then just be ready to roll. What was the tryout process and the courtship? Just kind of can you talk us through the process of them reaching out and signing? Yeah, it's uh, you, you kind of know when a guy goes down that there's potential that you're going to be brought in. So um, you see, like, you hate for that to be the reason why you get brought in, but this late in the year, that's just kind of the nature of it. So um, you see Stoney go down, and then you know that there's going to be a workout. Uh, eight guys here, NFL vets, so it was fun to be around those guys and learn from them. And, yeah, just the, the workout nature is kind of fun and, and being along for the ride. Of this. Have you guys talked to the Ryan Say that again? Have you gotten to talk to Yeah, yeah, Ryan's a good dude, and, and we've been communicating a little bit, and I uh, just got some questions for him, so we just kind of went back and forth. I got his number, and... Good guy. You see some veterans that were there at the trial, I'm sure, like you said. How much confidence does that give you to come in being a young guy with not a lot of experience? Yeah, it, it gives me a lot of confidence, kind of getting to go against some guys that I grew up watching on TV and, and then realizing that I can do things good and, and better than they can. So just building confidence from that and just being ready to roll. Did the coaches kind of, tell you some, anything about what set you apart, maybe? No. Nah. How have you kind of felt as far as in practice, kind of getting the flow as far as, far as punting the ball and, and feeling like yourself? Yeah, uh, I feel good. Uh, weather's nice here. It's a little bit warmer than Kansas time of year. So um, Kansas, I've been having to go indoors a little bit and uh, get here. It's a little bit warmer, um, not quite as windy. So it's just kind of easier to, to turn balls over and, and punt outside. You've been a holder throughout college as well? Uh, college, I held a little bit. And uh, this far in the NFL, I've been holder as well. Get an opportunity like this, especially as a young guy, you, know, you get the chance to try and finish out the year. How exciting is that to prove what you can do? Yeah, it's exciting, but this is why we all do it. We all are ready for an opportunity, and you got to stay ready, especially at our position. You just you never know when that call is going to come. You just got to keep your hopes up and, and stay ready for the opportunity.